so today a thing that keep keeps popping into my mind is our digital future and humanity and artificial intelligence and technology and tech technological immortality so I think we as as a species are frogs in a pot with AI and technology the whole I don't know if you're familiar with the phrase frog in a pot but it you know if you drop a frog into a pot of boiling water it will immediately hop out but if you put a frog in a pot of cold water and slowly raise the temperature the frog will content itself to remain until it is boiled to death and we're seeing right now with AI chat GPT and all these other things that are that are happening right now these developments in AI um, that I think humanity is gleefully and blissfully gallivanting towards a future that is very dangerous now I want to say that I am absolutely pro-technology pro-advancement <clears throat> pro-development I believe that robots and artificial intelligence can absolutely solve many of the world's ills if used properly and responsibly and with careful oversight <laughs> you know and it, there's things that are happening right now with AI that are doing things that I don't think when the, the concept of AI first you know I don't know who first came up with the idea of computerized artificial intelligence or like you know what person at a point in history could have first described something that would eventually evolve into what we today would appellate as artificial intelligence because today when we talk about artificial intelligence we absolutely are referring to a machine that uses some kind of electrical current to and through the magic of circuitry and computing and ones and zeros to create the facsimile of, an, of, a, of a sentient entity um, whereas you know maybe 300 years ago you know watchmakers purveying their wares to the royalty and crowned heads of Europe created you know cog driven automatons that could play chess and play a harpsichord and that was considered artificial intelligence so who knows what 200 300 from years from now could possibly mean in terms of artificial intelligence but right now I refer to things like you know what you see in movies like Jarvis and Iron Man and um, Hardak and Batman the animated series and things of that nature now something that troubles me is what I'm seeing AI currently being used to do and that's in the creative space with artistic generation um, and digital augmentation of our reality. You know, people using filters on, to catfish on WhatsApp and TikTok and who knows what else. And then all of the stuff, the neural network, photography, deep fakes. Um, this, is, this is chilling. This is terrifying and there's not enough outcry against this kind of stuff happening and developing 
and some people will surely say oh it's the free market you know listen anybody's free to create what they want you know and one of the tenets of our country is free speech and you know freedom of artistic expression you know all the legal doctrines of fair use and you know uh prior art and all all these weird copyright and you know court debated you know rights that are granted to give people autonomy over what they create and i'm not advocating that those rights be stripped away but i think we need to be careful we need to be very careful because we are treading in absolutely dangerous territory i saw a demonstration a few years ago uh, from i believe adobe where the guy at you know is like keynote demonstrating this technology even though it was its, in its infancy where he just spoke a few words and adobe was able to replicate his voice to say almost anything exactly in his like tonality and it, it you know and it, it like it sounded like him talking and it didn't sound like a robot it didn't sound like you know alexa or google a assistant or anything like that it sounded like him talking and that was chilling and we're seeing things with the deep fakes where people are making photos of celebrities look as though it's a video of the celebrity uh with their eye and mouth movements and what are the implications for this what are the implications for the long reaching uh, impacts on security, on password authentication, biometrics, you know, we're able to replicate voice and face. Could we not replicate thumbprint, ocul like iris authentication? What's next? Are we going to, we, you know, there's already genetic testing and genetic research that's being done to clone people. Another area that I think threatens us, though in a different way, is well. That's a story for another time. I'm... I'll I'll talk about that in another video because I realize that's a whole other kettle of fish. Bit um, digital immortality. Um, you know, I'll, I'll just, I think there's so much to touch on in terms of the socio cultural, theistic, like questions and regards for the identity of self. Like I said, it's, I, I can't even touch that right now. <laughs> um, but AI is a tool. And I have, I know there's all these movies and things about AI gone rogue that, you know, like in Terminator, Skynet becoming self-aware and nuking the planet and, you know, AI and robots deciding they don't need their human masters. Um, it's, there are concerns before we even get to that, like what, how humanity is employing AI right now for its own benefits and to further its own needs and there are always going to be those who seek to subvert a tool to nefarious ends you know i recall the words of robert oppenheimer and he said look i become vishnu destroyer of worlds i could be totally butchering that quote so please forgive me um But here's a man handed a unprecedented level of power. And with the power in a, in a sort of, how do I say this? A, the power philosophically represents an ability to 
turn the tides of of life in one way or another but on a realistic and more human scale that power is absolutely 100 percent destructive and that's what robert robert oppenheimer was talking about um with the nuclear bomb and now here we are with ai you know ai has been bubbling away on the back burners for years mit with their artificial intelligence laboratory laboratory um their project oxygen smart house um you know there's uh ibm's deep blue computers you know there's so many things that are early manifestations of brute force mathematical ai um and chat gpt is not ai in and of itself it's merely a another form of if then computational matrici matrici um but we're getting there. And I think AI is turning into something I don't think people anticipated. When people thought of AI, they thought of it as a sentience, like a, like a computer that could think. And I think that computers will get there. But right now, you know, what we're terming AI in the in the public space is not AI in the term in the terms that most people would have previously thought but that does not mean that the ai we're seeing in the media right now is poses any less danger and i think a lot of dialogue a lot more than what's going on right now needs to happen a lot more a lot more needs to be discussed and addressed because I think what people will use the AI that's out here right now to do, not just for artistic, you know, deep fakery, but, you know, and insecurity, but, you know, the implications on humanity where technology is going to put a lot of people out of work. Technology has put a lot of people out of work as, you know, jobs that used to require hundreds of of individual man hours to accomplish can now be done in seconds with a few strokes of a keyboard and clicks of a mouse and a lot of people thought of their professions as being future proof but with ai and robotics there are no sacred cows there are no areas that will be off limits to the predations of corporations and individuals who think that if they build it someone is sure to come robot nurses and doctors you better believe they're going to be coming robot soldiers absolutely robot foresters robot astronauts robot farmers you know there's you know, we have to discuss humanity's role in an increasingly faster and faster advancing technological reality and stop thinking that it can't happen, it won't happen. It's not a question of if, it's a question of when. And I think we all need to look carefully and discuss openly both on a social discourse stage and perhaps on a governmental guideline uh, stage how AI is going to be handled going forward because if we don't and allow the free market to run unchecked there are very serious implications not only for the the 
gainful future of human employment, but also for the integrity of human contribution. You know, deep fakes, artistry, creation, creativity, it's all, it's being threatened and we can not afford to sit idly by and bury our heads in the sand while this continues. I'm not suggesting it be legislated out of existence because that wouldn't happen anyway. And I'm not suggesting that authoritarian levels of control and restriction be clamped down on it. I'm just saying that we need to be talking more about this. It needs to be covered more by major media, public figures, because we're at a crossroads. And if we don't start talking about it on a national and international scale now, there's going to become a point where we are the frogs in the pot. And it will have gotten too big to control.